everybody. Woo! Yes! Alright. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so thanks for coming out, man, because I know, you know, you got, you know, you're auditions. homeschooled, you know, you gotta keep up with that, and you got auditions, <laughs> so thank you for coming uh, to be with us right now. Oh, and uh, congratulations for the filming of Smitty. That's awesome. Um, because yeah. it looks like it will for sure be a box office hit. It, it'll be a box office hit. I, I'm very sure about that. Um, now, is there any special moments? Any Anything that uh, offset um, or onset from Smitty that you um, wouldn't mind sharing with us? What well, um, could it be anything like anything humorous? Sure, anything you want. Well, I remember um, when we were filming with Mr. Gossett, he, um, when we were miking him up for the scene, he would always make his voice sound like he was underwater, so the mic guy would be like, wait, wait, wait what's, what's wrong with the mic? So he had to switch out the mic in the box like eight different times, and I had to try to keep a straight face because he would kept making it sound like that, and then he would do it, and then he'd be like, wait, 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 then he'd go over and be like, wait, what's wrong with the mic? And he's like, I don't know. It sounds like you're underwater. And he's like, interesting. And then he would look at me and say, in this water type voice, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember um, um, when Peter Fauna would uh, actually help me with my homework, but we never really got a lot of it done because when we would get, when I'd ask him one question, then he'd be like, well, and then he would get into like a whole story. And then, and then by the time the story was over, they were like, all right, we need you on set. We're like, all right, that's fine. <laughs> so that, and then I remember um, I, I went to uh, Mira's kids invited me to a tea party. Yeah. Uh, so I got to babysit them. It was fun. It was really fun. And then I got to play with them and um, have a tea party with cupcakes and how old were they? Gosh, um, they're th four, three, and like four months, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of interesting, to, uh, considering you know I was holding you know the four month old, and then I had to you know eat a cupcake with one hand and try to play with Spider Man in the other hand. <laughs> And then, and then I had to dress up a doll with my other hand while holding the baby, so I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, Spider-Man, oh, I guess Spider-Man loses, and then I was like, oh, I think that dress looks good with this doll, so it, it was, it was fun. Cool. Um, it sounds like, was it like, um, two girls, one boy, or what was it, how, um, yeah, it, wait. No, I think it was one girl, two boys. Oh, okay. Yeah, the the girl is the oldest. She's four. Then I can't. And then there's Johnny, who's three. And then I cannot remember the baby's name. It's like four months. And I can't remember the daughter's name either. <laughs> okay. Um. Now, where um where was Smitty filmed. Probably several, it was filmed probably in several different locations, but what was the um, the main one that you were at? The main location was um, in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, we filmed at a ranch, like a, it's like a chicken farm, which I remember also, you know, a funny story that uh, one of the drivers named Dennis, he, um, he was eating Baja chicken, and uh, he... He had dropped some of the chicken on the ground, and like 12 chickens came over and started eating it. And the first thing that came to my, my mind was, whoa, those chickens are cannibals. <laughs> they're, chicken, they're chicken. That's really weird. And then we filmed at a school. Um, so, yeah, we filmed a farm, and then like a ranch, and then a school, and then like kind of like a intersection. And we filmed at somewhat... House, and then, like, in their back outhouse is made entirely, like, for dogs, like a dog kennel. And, and, and the people had just left their dogs there, and they didn't even know that their, their dogs were going to be in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. What was it like working with Mr. Gossett? Um, 
So if they're going to see that, they're going to be like, oh, that's my dog. <laughs> Uh, well, the, the animals were a lot of fun to work with. Um, my favorite was probably working with the dog because it was the easiest and like he was very like he was trained and he knew what to do. Yeah, he was trained and he wasn't as aggressive as the chickens were. <laughs> the chickens were extremely aggressive. They were like, okay, what we want you to do is uh, you're gonna wear these gloves and you're gonna have to run and chase the chickens. Then while you're chasing the chickens. Um, while well, you chase the chickens, um, we want you to try to pick them up. So then I go over, and I pick them up, or try to at least, and they start to peck at my hand. I'm like, ah! So then, so then, it, went, it ended up being the opposite way around, where I'm supposed to run after the chickens, the chickens were running after me, which is not fun, especially, like, the roosters, because, like, if you go, like, that to them, it's supposedly, like, a challenge, so they were, like, Going like that and trying to chase after me. <laughs> so then we're going to do that scene like 12 times. <laughs> I can just imagine. Oh, so yeah. uh, um, and what kind of dog was it? It was, um, it was like a mix. It had some chow in it, some golden retriever. It had um, a black and pink speckled tongue. Uh, it, it, it was kind of just like a total really mutt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And it was named Freddie Gaines, and then they had a backup dog named Vin Diesel. <laughs> that one was the most aggressive, go figure. Um, uh, okay, um, you want to Okay, well, um, did you enjoy filming in Iowa? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I did, um... No, Iowa. She said it right. It was right. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun filming in Iowa. Um, the weather was kind of a little, like, unpredictable. Because some days it was, like, you know, really hot. Like, one day it was, like, 88. And, of course, it's, like, you know, really open there, so it got really hot. And then stay, it was, like... 50 degrees and it was raining and then it was really bad but then um there was like one day um i can't remember what i was gonna say now it's that oh yeah when we got off the plane like you can like feel that the air is so much cleaner than it is in los angeles <laughs> yeah for many reasons and of course you go there and you ask them is there any traffic here? Like, they don't even know what traffic is. They never even have it. Like, the roads are just so clear there. Yeah. So that's how it is in uh, Ohio. That's pretty... Yeah, pretty yeah. Like, there's no cars. <laughs> <laughs> no, None whatsoever. whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, just uh, tell us just a little bit, you know, like, how is it like working with the big stars like Peter Fonda, Louis Gossett Jr.? I mean... <laughs> 